So I'm going to start with the lasagna. For the, the noodles, we have marinated um, zucchini, fresh oregano and thyme. It's getting layers of pistachio basil pesto, sun-dried tomato marinara. Dinner time. The sights, the smells, the tastes of foods we are fond of. They are like old friends, foods we have grown up with, that are central to our social experiences and part of the pleasure of our daily lives. Food is a love we all share. crackers and reduced tomatoes with a very sweet white vinegar under the bottom. Enjoy. But not all love affairs are good for us. And sometimes too much of a good thing comes at a cost. While chefs compete to please our ever-demanding palates and farmers strive to keep our dinner plates full, others are worried about the impact of all this. Is our love affair with food, in particular our love of meat and dairy, good for our health and the future of the planet? What we got here is a seitan in a mushroom stock, and then it gets served with mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes, onions on a skewer, mashed potatoes, we also do it with cabbage, with strawberry jam, and red wine, served with a mushroom sauce and sprouting broccoli. I got into nutrition with certain ideas in mind, more or less the same as what the public tend to have. But I've been around quite a little while, seen a lot of things, had a research program at Cornell University and Virginia Tech for many, many years. For about 20 years, I was on various and sundry expert panels in Washington and London and uh, helping to write national policy. And I have to tell you that my views today are dramatically different than what they were 51 years ago.